Here's a problem where we have a weak acid, but the difference with this weak acid from the ones we've already seen is it has two protons that can be donated to water. This is an example of a polyprotic, or specifically in this case, a diprotic acid. Diprotic acids, or triprotic acids, donate one proton at a time to water. So here's the first ice chart that we need. The weak acid donates a proton to water. We get an equilibrium that makes hydronium and the conjugate base of the original acid. We know the reaction is going to go to the right. So we can solve for x using that first Ka value, 8 times 10 to the negative fifth. small value of K and the reaction is going to end up with mostly all reactants so we can try the approximation method first and when you do the approximation X is 7.48 times 10 to the negative third which is 1.1%, so the approximation is valid. But this isn't the only reaction that takes place. Now we have the second donation of a proton. The chemical that was the conjugate base in the first equilibrium is now the acid in the second one donating a proton to water. HC6H6O6 was not put into the original ice chart, that one started at a concentration of zero, but the first reaction made X. So our value for X is our starting point in our second ice chart. H2O liquid we can still cross out, and also notice hydronium was also made from the first ice chart, and that was also X. So this starting number is also 7.48 times 10 to the negative third. The conjugate base of this acid, the anion with the negative 2 charge, was not made in the first reaction. So that one is still 0. But because it's 0, we know the reaction has to go to the right. And just like always, we use the Ka. This one's the second Ka, 1.6 times 10 to the negative 12th. Notice the second K is even smaller than the first one. The Ks get smaller as the acid keeps donating its protons. Ka1 is always larger than Ka2. Ka2 would always be greater than Ka3, and so on. Now, because this K is even smaller, we know that this approximation method should be valid here. We can neglect this X in the numerator that's being added. We can also neglect this X in the denominator that's being subtracted. And if the assumption method is valid, that makes this problem even easier, because now 7.48 times 10 to the negative 3 cancels. And we're left with x is just the second Ka, 1.6 times 10 to the negative 12th. If you do the approximation, you're going to find that that's definitely less than 5%. So the assumption method is valid here. And so now the ultimate question was, what's the pH and what's the pOH? So we need the concentration of hydronium. If we take this answer for X and plug it into this ice chart, the pH is 7.48 times 10 to the negative 3. If we add X to it, we know that that's not going to change our value. The pH works out to be 2.13. And the pOH, subtract that from 14. 11.87.